This is Larry Bodine, and today we're talking with Kevin Schiffro, who is a member of Frost, Brown & Todd in Indianapolis. Kevin, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you, Larry? I wanted to talk to you a little bit about maintaining good client relationships. And when we were talking earlier, you mentioned something that you learned from your high school football coach. Always exceed expectations, and uh, it's something I've tried to bring to my practice and uh, do in reporting and keeping clients uh, informed and happy with what we're doing. I know from the research that one of the things that general counsel are looking for is predictability from a law firm. Now, you're one of the most active litigators in the United States. Are you able to draw on that experience and somehow frame up uh, what the outcome might be in a case? Absolutely. We always try to do uh, extensive JVR, jury verdict research, always try to have your pulse on it. Of course, I also say there's sometimes little predictability in trial work, but if you do the groundwork appropriately, know your jury uh, research pretty well, going into a case, there's certain parameters that you can define a case as generally existing in, and 96%, um, 98% of the time you're going to fall within those. There's going to be outliers, and I think even counsel, general counsel, recognize there will be those outliers occasionally. One of the things I know that uh, clients also want to see in law firms is efficiency. So when you're uh, preparing a case, can you give me some examples of uh, you know, efficiencies that you build into the litigation you handle? Well, certainly. Um, efficiency, I think, starts uh, at the beginning of a case all the way through the end of the case, but there's certain segments within the case. Um, early on, the uh, efficiencies with regard to the investigation. Early investigation is crucial in, in my world of products litigation um, so that you can assess the information, provide a report, usually within the first three months or first quarter, um, so that the company can have an idea of what the risk is that they're looking at, whether they can buy the risk down or out and, and settle the case, or whether it's going to take further work. After that, the efficiencies take hold with regard to the discovery phase. And you have to determine whether it's best that, that you as the lead lawyer do that or if you delegate that responsibility uh, to others, both in your firm as well as out of your firm. And one of the efficiencies I think that, that companies have realized is that um, the virtual law firm may be the way to go, which is certain firms and certain individuals have better tools in their toolkit uh, to do certain work and others have different tools. Uh, so sometimes the trial lawyer is not the best at doing the discovery work. Earlier we were talking a little bit about uh, sound bites and it seems that uh, in today's short attention span society that uh, that's about all people can retain. How does that translate into litigation? Well it, it's becoming very important. Um, you know many people have sat through seminars and it becomes sort of death by PowerPoint. We all are a society looking at our phones all the time, and those, those are jurors. And you have to recognize that and, and sort of feed into that a little bit with regard to the movement away from what the uh, old oration, when you'd stand up and just orate, to now making sure that you give visible information to uh, the jury, both in the way of real exhibits, um, real uh, 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 sound bites, if you would, of, of information that you weave into your theme of the case so that in the end what you're presenting as a uh, trial lawyer is, is a multimedia production if you would. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself when uh, when clients come to retain you what is it about you that they uh, are that they feel that they found when they're looking for outside counsel? Well you have to ask them a little bit of that but I would tell them I'm a specialist in TDR, Traditional Dispute Resolution. Um, and so I, I'm a trial lawyer, that's what I like doing. And so, for instance, going back to the efficiencies, I have often get tasked by clients to you know, parachute in or come into a case to try a case that I really haven't been involved in, in working up. And I find that, that that's a skill that I bring, that I like, uh, and I often say, you know, without TDR, you really can't have ADR. And so sometimes you have to hire the, uh, the individual that can uh, know what they're doing in the courtroom, um, not necessarily to try the case, although that is what we like doing, but sometimes even on a case you want to settle, you have to send the message to your opposition, we're ready to go, and here's our trial team. Well, thanks, Kevin, very much. We've been talking with Kevin Schifferl, who is a member with the law firm of Frost, Brown & Todd in Indianapolis.
Thanks very much, Kevin. You're welcome. Thank you.